the boss of Twitter UK has said sorry to women who have experienced abuse on the social networking site. Tony Wong said the threats were simply not acceptable and pledged to do more to tackle abusive behavior. The apology came as Twitter updated its rules and confirmed it would introduce an in-tweet report abuse button on all platforms, including desktops. Police are investigating eight allegations of abuse including bomb and rape threats made against women. Two people have been arrested in relation to rape threats against Labour MP Stella Creasy and feminist campaigner Caroline Criado Perez, who received the threats after a campaign to have Jane Austen on the new £10 note. Three female journalists said they were subjected to bomb threats on the site. The revelations sparked a backlash online, with a petition calling for Twitter to add a report abuse button to tweets attracting more than 124,000 signatures. Minister for Women and Equalities Joe Swinson told the BBC that unchecked Twitter abuse had been a problem for a long time and she was delighted that the company was apologizing and taking action. In a series of tweets, Twitter UK General Manager Mr Wong said, I personally apologize to the women who have experienced abuse on Twitter and for what they have gone through. The abuse they've received is simply not acceptable. It's not acceptable in the real world, and it's not acceptable on Twitter. There is more we can and will be doing to protect our users against abuse. That is our commitment. A clear message. In an earlier message posted on its blog, Twitter Senior Director for Trust and Safety Del Harvey and Mr. Wong said the company had clarified its anti-harassment policy in light of feedback from customers. They said, it comes down to this, people deserve to feel safe on Twitter. The company has clarified its guidance on abuse and spam, reiterating that users may not engage in targeted abuse or harassment. The report abuse button already available on the iOS Twitter app and mobile site will also be rolled out to the main website and Android app from September, Twitter said. Ms. Harvey and Mr. Wang wrote in their blog, We want people to feel safe on Twitter, and we want the Twitter rules to send a clear message to anyone who thought that such behavior was, or could ever be, acceptable. They said additional staff were being added to the teams that handle reports of abuse and the company was working with the UK Safer Internet Centre, which promotes the safe and responsible use of technology. We are committed to making Twitter a safe place for our users, they said, adding, we're here, and we're listening to you. Sustained Attack Ms. Criado Perez, 29, welcomed Twitter's response but said the process for reporting abuse should be further simplified to take the onus off the victim. She said, while I'm pleased they're listening, it's taken Twitter a week to come up with this. Twitter's report abuse button on the iPhone application goes through to the old reporting form. What we're looking for is an overhaul of the system which sits behind the button. The current process is lengthy, complicated and impossible to use if you're under sustained attack like I have been. Right now, all the emphasis is on the victim, often under intense pressure, to report rather than for Twitter to track down the perpetrator and stop them. Steve White, of the Police Federation, said online abuse was unpoliceable and social networking giants like Twitter should do more to tackle the problem. He told BBC Breakfast, the organizations that run these social media platforms probably need to take a long, hard look, they need to take some responsibility. It's much like when you go into a shop, there are prevention measures within shops, whether it be security guards or things locked away that you can't get to, which is going to prevent crime, and I think social media sites need to think long and hard about being able to prevent it from happening in the first place.